If the Queen feels regret she came too late to Aberfan, those who remember her first visit to this Welsh valley feel only gratitude that she came at all. Tragedy struck when a slag heap slipped down the valley side onto the primary school below. 116 children were killed. The Queen visited nine days later, a young mother and a young monarch. Aberfan has never forgotten that visit, nor the promise she made on that day to never forget them. The school was right across here. 50 years later, yeah. in Aberfan's memorial gardens, Marjorie yeah. Collins says the Queen's loyalty made a difference. Her son, Wayne, was nine when he was killed in his classroom. People were very pleased that she came here. And we feel honoured that she came here. And I know it's, it's a sort of tragedy that doesn't happen every day, but she came as soon as she could. She did feel very, very much over this. Yeah. Every family in the small community was touched by the tragedy. Before the disaster, you could always hear children outside playing and things, you know. And for a couple of years after, you couldn't hear a thing. As the mothers of Aberfan have tended their children's graves, they've grown old, but they've lived to see a promise kept. In 2012, the Queen returned to support the village and opened their new primary school. Amongst those there to welcome her was Elaine Richards, to whom the original promise had been made. Now 95, Elaine lost her daughter Sylvie in the tragedy. To me it was very really important, thinking that other people were caring. And they had it in their minds and they had the faith to come back to Aberfan. Because Aberfan was in a happy place. Look, you can see all the children playing. Yes, lovely. The Queen's return to Aberfan now four times, more than fulfilling the promise she made half a century ago as her long reign now enters history. Penny Marshall, ITV News, Aberfan.